Gemini Steel Eye has been rolling out massive updates week after week. And if you haven't updated yet, you're missing out on some seriously powerful stuff, especially the Gemini Steel Eye extensions. So in today's video, I will show you what is Gemini Steel Eye extension, how to install an extension, and show you how to create your very own extension that you can use. So the first thing that you need to do is, of course, install the latest version of Gemini Steel Eye. So go to GeminiSteelEye.com and run the following command. But if you have installed this already, all you need to do is run npm update dash g space at google forward slash gemini dash cli. Once everything is good, you can just run gemini cli in your terminal and check your cli version using the forward slash about command. So right now, my current cli version is 0.8.2. Now, what is Gemini CLI extensions? They're quite similar to the extensions of VS Code. It lets you integrate utilities or tools to improve your development workflow. But one key difference is that extensions for Gemini CLI only lets you integrate MCP servers or create custom commands or add context files to improve your Gemini CLI experience. Okay, so now that we have the latest version of Gemini CLI, the next thing that we need to do is look at the extension. So type forward slash extensions. And inside of this, we have two commands, list and update. List will display all of the active extensions and the update will obviously update the extensions that you have installed. So if you select list, we'll get no extensions installed. That is because we haven't installed anything just yet. So we can install a new extension by running the command Gemini space extensions space install followed by the URL of the extension that you want to install. For example, Chrome DevTools MCP. So you can go to the Git repository of this extension and copy the Git repo URL and just paste it here. But there's a better way to do this. You can go to GeminiCLI.com forward slash extensions. And this is where you'll find all of the available extensions for Gemini CLI. So once you've found the extension that you want to install, you can just click this button and paste it into your terminal. And that should install the extension. And once that is installed, you'll need to restart your Gemini CLI. And here, you'll see that it's now using one MCP server, and that is the DevTools MCP. You can go ahead and confirm this by going to the extensions and list. It'll list all the commands or the extensions. And there we go. We have the Chrome DevTools MCP extension. Now, before we move on to creating our very own extension, I actually want to talk about this new Chrome DevTools MCP. This is a must-have extension, and it's actually useful because it allows you to use AI to debug and navigate your entire web applications. As you can see, this extension has so many tools that your AI can use to navigate or inspect your web applications. So for example, I can tell Gemma to check the performance of my portfolio site, which is currently running on a local host. And what it's gonna do is use the MCP and use the tools like the navigate underscore page, the performance analyze insight, and so on. And this will help you find issues within your app. It's pretty useful. Anyway, with all that said, how can you create your own extension? Creating your own extension is actually super easy. All you need to do is run Gemini space extension space new, followed by the name of your extension. That's pretty much it. But you should follow it with a type or type of the extension. So we have context, if you wanna add specific context to your workflow. There's also the custom dash commands. There's also the exclude dash tools. And of course, there's the MCP dash server. Let's just use the MCP dash server. Run the command and that should begin creating the extension. Once that is done, you will have to run the following command, Gemini extensions, link. That way you don't have to update the local extension whenever you make changes to this um, extension. Okay, so once that is done, we can just restart our Gemini cell I. And look at that, we have two MCP servers. But look at this, we have an error. If we press Control O, we'll get this MCP error, and that's because we haven't built our extension just yet. So let's go and open this extension with VS Code. And in this project, you will find four files, example.ts, the Gemini extension.json file, the package.json, and of course, the tsconfig. But of course, it depends on the type of extension that you make. If you chose context earlier, you'll have a different set of files. But the most important file here is the Gemini extension.json file. This is the configuration of your extension. This is where you'll find the name of your extension, the version number, and the MCP servers used by your extension. Now, there are two more properties that you can use in this configuration. There's the context file name, 
and also the exclude tools. Now, remember earlier there was the um the type context and the exclude underscore tools. They're just this basically if you use the context type of extension it'll just produce an extension that uses this property the context file name same with the exclude tools they're just going to use the exclude underscore tools property and anyway, for the context file name you can provide here a gemini.md file to give more context to this extension you can describe here what it does or the tools that are included in this extension or you can write here how to use this extension and the tools for example i'll just type Whenever this extension is used, there should be a subscribe to Weekly How. Something that you should never forget. For the exclude tools, you can just pass here an array of tools that you don't want this extension to use. For example, run underscore underscore shell underscore commands. And you can specify what command should be excluded. For example, rm space dash rf. So it won't delete anything. If you want to know the list of tools that you can exclude, here it is. Anyway, let's just go back to the extension and fix the errors. So we just need to build the project. So in the terminal, we can just type npm space install. And that should install all the dependencies needed by this extension. And after that, we can just run the build script. And now if you go back to the terminal and restart the Gemini CLI, everything will work. And now look at that. We have the Gemini.md file and two MCP servers. And also the error is gone. Now let's go and prompt, can you use the fetch post tool from the MCP for me? There we go. It's now using the MCP. And there we go. As you can see, it used the fetch post tool and we can just select yes, allow it once. That should execute the API call and return five posts. And look at this. We have subscribed to Weekly How because we specified in the Gemini.md file that whenever this extension is used, it should say subscribe to Weekly How. And that is how to create an extension for Gemini CLI. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving this video a like and subscribe to Weekly How, just like what my prompt says. <laughs> If you want to see more videos like this one, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.